We are witnessing the achievements of mankind in the field of renewable energy and advanced technologies intended for the development of a green economy. Expo Day 30. How was the planet created and how was life born on it? If you're asking these questions, you can find the answers in the thematic pavilion of the Expo. By the way, it was already called the most spectacular pavilion. And it's not for nothing that you can be fascinated by this kinetic show. The balls here move chaotically, implying the powerful energy of the universe from the explosion that creates a galaxy with all the planets. And later they will seem to you as part of the solar system and even particles of the atom. Guests will also see how they started to extract energy, heat and electricity. Animation on wide screens shows what harm is done to the ground, so all guests automatically become participants of the show in which you need to save the planet. In this expo that shows that there is such energy which can be renewed and used constantly. That is, it is the same solar system, they are already at the expo and they feed some part of the energy for the expo town. Another guest of the expo is the Latvian designer Bruno Birmanis. He has been in the fashion industry for 30 years. He organizes fashion events and even has his own brand of classic shirts. Bruno designed the costumes of the Pavilion Guides of Latvia. Here he also decided to focus on the classics. Bruno is supporter of quality things that can be worn for several years and they will not lose their appearance. And the cheap things that we put on for a couple of times clog up the space. The fashion industry is the second most polluting industry after the arms industry. That is, the fashion industry is clogging the planet just scary, and so the responsible approach is very important. We still have to live here, and we all feel how the climate changes, how different forests disappear. The guest came to Astana for the first time. He was impressed with our wide expanses. The capital in his eyes looks modern, but at the same time incomparable to any other city in the world. Expo Bruno considers a platform where all countries can present their vision of the energy of the future through the national prism. This is important, I think, for those people who attend the exhibition, because I'm sure there is a lot at the exhibition. That's how this format is presented, because it's very humane. It is focused on not very scientific things, but on things that concern every person, from the simplest people to scientists. That's what I like here. Solar energy is the guarantee of a comfortable and environmentally friendly way of life for people. In the pavilion Noralem there is evidence for this. Here is an interactive layout that explains how solar cars work, and next you can see already existing developments. The first car is called Stella. It is produced in the Netherlands at the Eindhoven Technical University. The maximum speed of this car is 134 km per hour. It is the world's first family car that uses solar panels. It can accommodate up to four people. An interesting feature of this car is the fact that it produces more energy than it consumes. Even asphalt can absorb sunlight and produce energy if you install solar panels in it but the blinds, which can produce about 100 watts of energy per square meter. Solar pitchers and portable chargers on solar panels, something that will please the most avid travelers. Many people often travel, and my family and I like to travel too. It happens that you find yourself in the wild and there is nowhere to recharge your phone or some kind of device. The solar batteries can come to the rescue and my family is already trying to think of a way to acquire such a charging device on the solar panels.